What it is, what it is, what it is, Rich Nation, what's going? Oh, everybody, it's your boy Mike Rich, man. What's happening with y'all today? I hope everybody, each and every last one of y'all is having a blessed day today, man. Today, I'm on location. I'm always on location, shout it. I'm always on location, South Lake Mall action. Haven't been to this one in a minute. Just want to see what they got. Uh, a lot of times you go on different sides of Atlanta, different sides of the city. I'm on the south side today. Sometimes they'll have shoes sitting around that are not sitting around at other locations. Like I said, I'm going in here on a whim, but don't worry because if it's nothing in this mall, I have a dope unboxing, one of the dopest unboxings of the year, in my humble opinion. Um, of a shoe that could be possibly shoe of the year, top five, whatever you want to call it. And it is a proven situation where taking L sometimes is a good thing. Sometimes those L's pay off, man. And my unboxing at the video in the end of the video is gonna prove that somewhat. You feel me? So anyway, let's go ahead and go into South Lake Mall and see what they got sitting around, man. Do it. Hey, uh, fresh off work. South Lake Mall, Morrow, Georgia. Like I said, just got off, so I ain't rocking nothing but some Prestos, trying to stay comfortable at work. You know what I'm saying? So the back issues don't proceed. But anyway, trying to see what's going on South Lake. Ain't been here in a minute. My gut is telling me it's trash can water. But I do like about this mall that they got a bunch of shoe stores. You know what I'm saying? City Gear, Champs, Foot Locker, JD Sports, Snipes. What am I missing? DTLR, all that stuff. Damn champ sports action. Got some of these ones, love. I ain't seen any true blues in a minute. Sitting nowhere. You feel me? Clean shoe. Get you some. What you talking about? Cool gray uh, sixes. These might go to the outlets. I'm thinking this might be an outlet um, shoe right here. I didn't say outlet pickup because I still ain't going to get them, but I think these might go to the outlet. You feel me? Bro, I think every champs in the world restock these. Y'all make me want to double up. But I barely wear the one that I got in 2017, so I'm going to let them chill. Anybody who want these, man, check your local champs. I've been seeing them in almost every champ, so. OG Auburn colorway Bo Jackson, guy. Get you some. Like they threw some dope materials on these shack attack guy. I like the suede they got going on on them. I went and rock them. They bulky. Like you might be able to go to space with these on, but I like I like the materials they put on these. It says think happy thoughts. I ain't mad at you though. Carbon fiber action right there. Yeah, that ain't bad. Like I said, I like the quality and the concept of the, of the smiley face situation, but I wouldn't be able to wear these big boy. You got the originals right there beside it. You got the uh, Lakers questions. Speaking of Lakers, they got the Kobe guys in here. You feel me? Spatial shoe. Uh, speed racer looking ass shoe. You know what I'm saying? But I'm sure somebody will drip these. Y'all wearing them big red boots. You'll, you'll jump on these Kobe, man. Come on. You know what I'm saying? Quick the cap. Oh, they got the olive colorway, man. I like these, bro. My wife be hating, bro. The ACG slide guy, man. My wife hate these shoes. That's the only reason I ain't buying them like that. I ain't got time for all of her ridicule. What's up with um Jordan brand? Okay, these are comforts, right? And like the colorway is so similar to this shoe. This is a high and that's a mid, but like they just putting the same little mocha and tan suede on everything, bro. Like, eh. I guess because the mochas did so good. It was such a popular shoe and all like the Travis Scott colors. They just trying to throw these neutral colors on everything. Um, that pop of purple ain't working in my opinion, but you know what I'm saying? I don't know. Zoom Comfort. I don't even know what you call these. I don't know. Are they Jordan 1s or they nothings? So Y'all come below and let me know. They Jordan 1s, man. All right, I'm at Foot Locker, bro, and I ain't never seen so many Jordan nothings on the um, same wall before. Like, they mixing them in with the regular retros, and they making my Jordan 7s look real Air Jordan nothing-ish up here with the rest of these Jordan nothings. I don't know if I should be offended or not, man. I had a couple people in my comments say that Jordan 7s are Jordan nothing. Even though they're retros, I had them. I had people calling them Jordan nothing, man. Y'all just trying to hurt my feelings, man. But literally, everything else over here besides the 7s, it's some nothings, man. <laughs> I think I waited too long to get E. I kind of don't want them no more, sugar. The thrill is gone. The thrill is gone for you guys. What are you talking about? So this is a uh, finish line. 
And this is like one of the only, I don't know if it's the only, but it's like far as the malls I've been to, this is like one of the only ones that they didn't change into a JT, J, uh, JD Sports. They didn't do the JD Sports overhaul. I know technically JD Sports finish line, pretty much the same company now, but this is the only one. Because you can even come in here and look on these little tags for the JD Sports exclusives and stuff. And it says JD, powered by JD, JD in the finish line so it's pretty much the same thing but for some reason they didn't they didn't change this finish line into a jd sports no i no idea why like they getting real inventive with these id foams especially now that you can just get them anywhere these are gonna be like the new nmds bro you can just get them anywhere anytime i remember they had a slick little sellout when they first first dropped and then after that it's just like they regular See, if I was still in high school right now, or elementary school, or grade school, whatever you want to call it, my mom would have been hitting me with E right here. $65? Yeah, you can get them. Some good suede on them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Be clean on that. But yeah, when we was younger, man, We everybody had these, the white ones like these. You get them for two for 89 from Foot Locker back in the day, man. But you wouldn't get no $100 shoes. You believe that? Well, I wasn't. I don't know. Maybe y'all with the balling parents uh, <laughs> was getting them. Good thing I got an unboxing at the end of this video because um, nothing ski is going on <laughs> in these stores in the mall. I keep seeing those um, all-star LeBrons now that I'm really done gave up on getting them. Who knows? Might see them at the outlet and still cop. But I saw these from the other side. I could have swore. But these look just like the clot. Air Max 1. Am I tripping? It just says Air Max 1, 150. These ain't the class. They look like them. Uh, they ain't that a clot logo? Huh. I think these are the class. Just randomly sitting in um finish line. Collab. Air Max 1 collab. Clot. Never, never was crazy about that see-through um in the front. But that's exactly what this shoe is. Oh, am I tripping, y'all? Is that not the clot logo? I, and I could have swore the shoe looked like this, but like I said, I got the, um, you know, to the inside out. And yeah, I got all the logos and stuff. So yeah, I'm pretty sure that this is the Clot Air Max uh, 1. And I have the, um, I have the uh, Sakai waffles like this right here. So I don't know. They chilling, man. What y'all think? All right, bro, I'm in detail a lot now. And this is the only store in this whole mall that still got playoffs left. So this shoe is really pretty much sold out. But I won't doubt that you'll still see them pop up in full size runs at my outlet. They just do stuff like that. Every time a general release drop, they always have a full out, uh, size run outlets, bro. But they still got them in this store. Probably ain't got them in the sizes, though. There's a green mid, guys, in here. They always have a shoe come out uh, similar to... A shoe that's gonna drop. Like they know the greens uh joints coming up, then they got E come up right before that. They always do that. Yeah man, so I'm back at the crib unboxing time, man. Some of those L's, like I said, some of those L's paid off. Uh comment about anything that you saw in this vlog. The mall didn't have nothing crazy, ridiculous, and I open it like that, but it was still a vlog. Y'all comment below. If y'all like what you see in the mall vlogs, man, comment below. Uh let's go. I don't know what this what this hand is. What this what that mean? I don't know. I would just I just be doing it. Anyway, this shoe actually shipped pretty quick. Uh, received notifications on March 2nd, which is my wife's birthday. Happy birthday, wifey. We spent a great time uh, together this weekend. Just shout out to my wife. Shout out to her. And happy birthday again. Baby, you feel me? So, uh, but, like, the, sh the, the, the exclusive access or whatever dropped that day, March 2nd, on was Nike Sneakers app. And they delivered um, on Sunday. So, yep, three days. Took three days to get here. So, here we go right here. Straight from Nike. You feel me? go ahead and get into these guys we already know what they are we didn't seen them but i'm gonna just show y'all how they how they did this drop and um just show you what happened so the box looks exactly how i expected the box to look because uh surprise i already got these but this is a double up and i said i said i was gonna try but i didn't expect to hit um I thought I was gonna have to wait till the 11th, which is the drop day. So what I got in my, um, actually everybody was telling me, check the night before, check the night before, or a couple of days before, and you gotta go to the desktop app because the uh, actual app 
it won't tell you nothing. Like I looked at the app and I was like, man, I ain't getting exclusive access. I figured that, whatever. But then I looked on the uh, desktop app and it said uh, exclusive access, uh, but you couldn't you couldn't select it until the day of. And then at 12 o'clock, I got this notification, which says sneakers exclusive access. You took a L on the AJ3 free throw line in 2018 and the AJ3 white cement shot dropped last week, which is facts. I tried for the 2018 um, free throw lines, which I ended up having to get them later on. I think I did a trade plus added some money to get that shoe. And then uh, on this shot app, a shot drop, uh, I took an L too. Um, of course, they don't know or they don't care. I don't know. They don't. They probably don't know. This is YouTube Mike Rich who already had this pair of shoes since December. They probably don't know that. So uh, <laughs> they went ahead and let me catch the and I, I had to pay extra money to get my uh, free throw line, so you know that was still an L. Those are both L's. I still tried and I still took both of those L's. I hear some people say they just started. I heard a couple people say they just started a brand new sneakers app and they hit on these. I don't know if it goes by address or anything like that, or I don't know if it's just a fluke. Somebody just opened up a new sneakers app and it was just cap. I have no idea, but I know they sent me. The, um, that I missed out on both of those, which is facts. I did miss out on both of those trying on Nike sneakers out. Um, but it told me that, and it said I got exclusive access to these. So, <clears throat> I already unboxed them. Y'all know what the shoe look like. I got another pair over there in the stack somewhere. That's my first pair of my early pair. And this is my double up. I'm not 100% sure yet what I'm doing. I'm not 100% sure. Now one thing I will say, I did put the other pair on feet for the on feet video that I put up uh, back in December. So that, I mean, it's still DS, but it's been outside in my driveway. And the bottom of it still look new and everything, but I don't know. Here's the Nike sneakers out pair right here. Ooh. I don't see the shoe so many times. It's like not a big surprise no more. They still super clean. They still got that, ooh, that ridiculous, new shoe smell um but like i said you wouldn't even be able to tell the difference between these and the ones i did on feet video with at all so i'm like i said i'm on the fence about what, what i'm gonna do these are clean though they still clean um the consistency in the elephant print looks a little bit better on this pair so far i don't want to do a comparison right now but just let y'all know like the the back Elephant print in the front. Elephant print was a little bit inconsistent on my first pair that I got. Um, but these, these, that, that's the left shoe so far. Well, so far, so good. Looking good, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, everybody who hit on the shock between the shock drop and exclusive access, y'all comment below and tell me if you hit. I always like to hear about people catching them dubs. You feel me? Um, and here is. I have a look at both shoes. Have a look at both shoes. Here's the right shoe right here, and. It's crazy because the elephant print on this one is not even consistent with the elephant print on the other one. Don't look like. It don't look like these two have consistent elephant print. They kind of, I don't know, you probably a little bit more deeper and defined on that one, but you no, know, they look good. Unless you're just really looking hard. I know the internet make us just look really hard at every single sneaker. You know what I'm saying? But these is A1. You know what I'm saying? So that's it right there. That's my um exclusive access pair the leather is super buttery on me but the leather is kind of inconsistent like the leather and it's just like that on my free throw lines like the leather really close up on these you can kind of see how big the grains is like like leather leather you know what i'm saying and then when you go to this right shoe is like more pebble like really small little pebbles of leather you know what i'm saying this like got the big strides of leather the big I don't know if y'all can tell what I'm talking about, but it's like, you know what I'm saying? And then this one, it has like the little, the little chill bumps, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, it's almost like this one is a slight tumbled leather. And this one is like a real full grain type type of leather. I don't know. It don't matter though, because on feet, they're going to look cleansed. They're going to get that clank, clank stamp of approval. And if I haven't said it before already, which I'm sure I did, this is a 10 out of 10, the Air Jordan uh, 3 White Cement. This is the closest I've seen to the OG since I've been collecting sneakers. It might have been something else that was even closer. Who knows? I'm just saying, since I've been buying shoes, this is the closest I've seen to the 1988 pair. Um, yeah, man. So anyway, fire, in my humble opinion. Glad I was able to double up. Nine times out of ten, seeing that this is the DS pair. If I do sell a pair, it'd be probably the pair I did the on-feet video with. I uh, got my little card and stuff like that. Um, 
Yeah, probably be that one. Anyway, that are that is these the Air Jordan three white cement. Comment below if y'all went after them. You going after them? What you think about them? What you think about the real master remastered series? I heard they doing Jordan fours next. Uh, 2024 so we already hearing about stuff that's dropping next year this year that's not a surprise uh, I don't know about I mean my Jordan 4's are just so still new looking <laughs> so you just be like uh, I, I mean you collect long enough they drop the next pair your old pair ain't even gonna be beat up yet you know what I'm saying if you got a lot of shoes like that so y'all know how that go anyway shout out to Nike for making them L's count as a dub if in fact that's the way they did that me taking an L in 2018 on the free throw line and me taking an L on a shot drop cup a week or two ago and that was their decision and let me get these then I hope they do it like that coming up because I got a lot more L's I took you feel me it won't be on those uh, remaster um, bread uh, fours though because I won those on the Nike uh, shop drop sneakers out shop drop so I probably won't get those that way uh, anyway I appreciate y'all for watching this video hit the thumbs up like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation stand all the way up to the moon on them hey Tom back keep watching my video because that's what I'm here for gone yeah. Call up the plug, give me a lick. Early hits from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the bless, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock, just might hit. With riches, kicks. I mean, my rich. Yeah, falling all the way to the moon on them. Space Jam going on the tune on them. Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them. New heat coming real soon on them. My rich fans, shout that's what I cop the gift for. Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for. Gone. All the way up to the moon on them. What's happening to everybody? Yeah. Life so lighty daddy Bless. Hit that Nike snow just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby yeah. Then we fly to Abu Dhabi Then we gone straight up to the moon on the moon hey. 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 To the moon